morning everyone, it's Kelly here. Welcome to my channel. If you've not been before, welcome. If you have, I'll be you either way. On this channel we talk books. This morning I am recording a vlog. I'm not in my house. <laughs> I'm away on a trip um, and I'm on the south coast of New South Wales, the state that I live in, in Australia. Um, it's 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> I was going to start this vlog by doing some reading in bed because the weather report was saying that it's going to be a rainy day today um, and I have been starting my days sitting out on the balcony uh, because there's chickens <laughs> in the place where I'm staying and the chickens come out in the morning to have their breakfast and I love watching them so um, and I thought it was going to be raining today but it isn't yet. Uh, so I'm actually going to head out to the balcony. It's cold, it's chilly, um, but yeah, I'm just going to rug up and head out to the balcony. So it looks like the chickens haven't been let out yet, so I'm in time <laughs> to watch the start of their breakfast, which is great. But while I'm waiting, I'm going to do a little bit of reading. Um, at the moment, I'm reading this book, Old Masters by Thomas Bernhard. Um, I'm reading this one for um, a book club. So this is my book club where we're reading books from around the world. This is the book for Austria. Um, I am 188 pages in, so I, I actually only have a little bit to go. Um, so I'm hopeful that I'm going to finish this one today. Um, and especially if it's going to rain. Um, I will hopefully finish that one. But yeah, it's waiting for the chooks to be let out to have their bricky. Um, we're going to read while we're waiting. Breakfast time for chooks. Happy girls. I've added a layer <laughs> and my glasses because I was watching the chickens uh, from a little bit far away. I'm going to make breakfast, which is just going to be cereal this morning. Um, but at this place, the lady makes her own cereal. If you can see, it's like a sugar-free muesli, which is perfect for me because <laughs> I'm trying not to have too much sugar. Um, so yeah, let's make some brekkie. Definitely do not like a brown. 
chickens are on the move. I don't know if you can hear them clucking. But they're currently wandering around this sort of a grassy area just below my balcony where I'm staying. And they're just wandering around having a peck. <clears throat> particularly clucky. <laughs> I just love watching the chickens. They're hilarious. The way they run. Very cute. I'm going to get a little bit of footage of, the, of them down in the grass. Hopefully you can see them. So now that the chickens have just about finished having their feed, the other birds come in. So at the moment, in that sort of black bowl, you can see some galahs. I don't know if you can see them nice and clearly. That's as far as I can zoom. And there's also one over at the feeder on the left as well. So the ones that have the sort of pink on their faces with white on the top and a sort of grey body. But yeah, there's still like a few chooks around, a few chooks feeding, but enough of them have moved off now that the other birds feel confident to come in. There's also some, I want to say native pigeons maybe. It's a bit, hang on, <laughs> put your glasses on Kelly. They've got a little, yeah, I think they might be native pigeons. Maybe. Um, if they are, they've got like a little kind of pointy top on their head. Otherwise, I have no idea what those birds are. And they're all coming in now, too. <laughs> I love it. Just watching the birds in the morning. Such a nice way to wake up. Okay, I've just topped up my tea. <laughs> um, a lot of time has passed. Like, what time is it now? Half past eight. It's still pretty early. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've just been having a little uh, text conversation consultation in fact with my mum <laughs> because uh, she's a bit of an expert on birds and I've been seeing this bird um, well uh, several of these birds hovering in a way I've not seen a bird do before um, and because I was watching them over the fields insert dodgy clip here <laughs> um, to show you what I mean they're sort of just doing this like flappy thing to hover in one place and then kind of gliding to another and then flap, 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 um, which I've not seen a bird do before. So anyway, I've just been consulting with my mum, who's the expert and has the Bible with her, by which she means the bird identification book, um, <laughs> because that's what she means when she says the Bible now. Um, but she uh, said that it has to be a nankeen kestrel because they're the only uh, type of bird of prey in Australia, I guess, maybe at all, um, that does that, that flap, 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 flap to stay in one place. So very exciting. <laughs> um, I, I was just saying to her as well, like, I'm going to add a bird book into my holiday tub. So when that I go, when I go on a holiday, I will have that to refer to. Um, my mum and dad are currently travelling in Tasmania, so um, I've just been texting with them so that I can um, find out what this type of bird was. So that was very successful and I felt really good about it. <laughs> Alright, I'm uh, 
gonna make it tell you the plan now because I've gotten a little bit distracted from the reading I've done hardly any so I do want to get lots of reading done today um, that is my plan um, and I was thinking it was gonna be raining it is not currently raining and actually the way that the clouds are looking now it doesn't imminently look like it's gonna rain the clouds are too kind of fluffy so um, <laughs> that's my scientific technical term for how the clouds look <laughs> so um, anyway I am going to go and have a shower and get changed because my pajama pants are too thin and it's quite chilly today so um, earlier it said it was 16 degrees but it definitely felt colder than that um, yeah so it's it's chilly I've put on my hoodie um, but I need to I need to add a couple of layers because it is too, I want to sit outside while it's not raining um, and it is a little bit too cold to do that so I'm gonna go and have my shower rather than just putting clothes on and not being clean I'm gonna go have my shower wash my hair um, and then I'm going to um, come and sit back out here and do some more reading and actually get some good reading done today because I really want to finish Old Masters um, and then I've, I'll talk to you a bit later about my options for what to read next because there's a book that I, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you all about it later. Okay, I am now showered, clean hair, still wet. Um, I'm just going to let it dry naturally. I'm telling you this like that's not what I always do. <laughs> I always let my hair dry naturally, um, but it is clean, um, and I am ready to talk to you about the options for the books that I could be reading today. So, as I said before, this is the book that I'm hoping to get finished today. Um, I am enjoying is probably not the right word. It has a lot of like really subtle humour in it. It is a comedy, as it says on the front cover. So it is supposed to be funny. Um, quite a few people in my book club DNF'd it, uh, and I, so I was feeling a bit nervous, like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Um, but it's actually okay. Like I'm, it's, it took a little bit to get into the, the writing style of it, but I've enjoyed it as a bit of a circuit breaker because I have very heavily been reading a lot of literary fiction, which I guess this also is, but it's a it's comedic, so it's supposed to be a bit funny. Um, and it's about a grumpy old man. So, um, I don't know. I have a little a little place in my heart for grumpy old men. <laughs> um, probably because one of my grandfathers... Actually, one of my grandfathers was very funny and very rarely grumpy. And the other one was grumpy all the time. And my grumpy grandpa <laughs> has a special place in my heart. As does my other grandpa, of course, my funny grandpa, but um, yeah, I don't know. Something, I, I lived with them for a little while when I was sort of in my 20s, so yeah. He has a special place in my heart, so I don't know. Something about the grumpy guy in this one is kind of reminding me a little bit of my grandpa. Not entirely, his opinions aren't quite as repulsive as this one, this man's, but um, yeah, he's he has the grumpy elements of him are not off-putting to me is what I'm trying to say which I think they were to some of the other people in my book club so um, anyway I'm hoping to get this one done as I said earlier um, and I will be working on working through it but then I'm ready to then um, go back to my lit fic because I am going to be continuing on reading the Stella Prize I have three books to go. So I've read three of the shortlist and I now need to read the other three. So these are my options. Um, here they are. So the one that I'm not looking forward to, which if you watched my last video, which was a TBR for this trip, uh, is this one, Abandon Every Hope by Hayley Singer. Um, this one is, uh, it, the subtitle is Essays for the Dead and it's about uh, abattoirs and the meat industry. Um, I'm a vegetarian, so obviously 
I don't particularly feel drawn to read about those things. However, I think the author is coming from a place of it being, you know, from a similar standpoint. <laughs> um, but I just feel like it's going to be intense. Now, I in my last video, I said to people, let me know if you think I should prioritize any books, give me your thoughts. And I've had two comments to date come back in time for me to see them <laughs> while I'm on the trip. The person who mentioned this book said they DNF'd it. So again, I'm not feeling super confident about this one. However, it's a library book and I probably need to at least give it a try before I decide whether or not I'm going to DNF it. So that might be an option just to sort of make a start and see how I go with the writing style and the content and if it's just a bit too much for me. So yeah, that's that one. Um, another one I'm not super looking forward to, and this was the other one that the comment, the other comment that was about was this one, um, Praiseworthy by Alexis Wright. I am actually interested in the story of this one because it sounds a bit mad, but it's huge. And so I'm kind of intimidated by how long this book and how long it's going to take me to read. So the comment was from my good friend Elizabeth at Elizabeth Morgan. Um, I'll link her channel down below. Um, so <laughs> she said, that I should get this one on audiobook and listen to it while I'm out and about going for walks and things like that. Now, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Sorry, Elizabeth. The reason being, the audiobook for this goes for 37 hours and that's a lot of listening. And also, just recently, I've been kind of back and forth in my, in my brain about audiobooks. So for like the last... I'm going to say six months or so, my brain has been wanting to read audiobooks quite a lot. Um, and recently, I've been wanting to read paper books, like physical books, like, and the concept of listening to an audiobook to my head is like, no, <laughs> I don't want to. So, yeah, I'm just kind of, I don't know. So, I'm not going to listen to the audiobook, one, because I don't have it. Um, and I don't want to pay for it, and two, because I have a physical copy that I have paid for, um, and I do want to read. So I will probably make a start on this at some point, hopefully this holiday, maybe today. We'll see. This is actually my last full day of holiday, so I will have a little bit of reading time tomorrow morning before I have to check out at 10, but yeah. The other one that I've got, which is probably the one that I'm more wanting to read, is this one. Uh, hospital by Sanya Rushdie, uh, translated by Arunava Sinha. Um, this one I am more interested in. However, the topic is also quite heavy uh, because it is about a woman who has um, uh, what did she got? She's had she's diagnosed with her third episode of psychosis, and then she gets moved from. Um, her home to a community house and then to the hospital and she's sort of questioning her diagnosis and kind of talking um, you know talking about how that is I'm really interested in that topic but again it is quite heavy so I'm glad to have had the kind of um, comedy break <laughs> my brain has appreciated that because I've been a lot of the like literary stuff that's in the Stella Prize is kind of heavy-ish topics so yeah Anyway, I am looking forward to reading this one, so maybe I will do this one because also it feels, it's quite short, so it feels really doable. Uh, let me see, 124 pages. I could potentially even finish this today if I started it. So, options. Um, I am going to keep reading the, the other one, the one that I am currently in the middle of, and hopefully get that one done. Um, but then I might pick up praiseworthy and just actually no I'm gonna here's what I'm gonna do we're gonna have a go at the library book the one that I'm not looking forward to reading about the abattoir I'm gonna read a little bit of that just to sort of get a feel for it decide if I want to continue with it because if I yeah I might DNF it. we'll see I haven't even started it I'm contemplating DNFing the book I haven't even started um so I'm gonna do that first then I think I might pick up Praiseworthy and see how I do. Um, just make a start on it. 
if I if I'm feeling the writing style, then I might continue with that. Otherwise, I'm going to pick up the hospital. That's great. Part of when you stay here, she supplies you with these beautiful bread. Let me show you. It's like a gorgeous seed bread. Um, and I'm leaving tomorrow. So I've put aside two slices of it. And with the rest, I'm going to have um, like a little dip of oil and ducker, which I really like. So I'm just cutting it up into little pieces so that I can do exactly that. So I brought my own oil, which is, I like it with lemon oil. So it's like an infused oil. Um, this brand, Blue Estate is the one that I'm using. Now they don't have any tiny bowls here, so I'm just going to pour it into a gigantic bowl. Um, and hopefully, it won't be too bad. And then I did actually bring my own ducker, but then when I was out and about at the shops, I got this one which is um, a local a local company based in Milton, um, which is nearby to where I'm staying. And that's where I bought it, in Milton. Um, and so I, uh, I'm i going to give this one a try. It, got, it has in it almonds, sesame seeds, coriander, cumin, paprika, and turmeric. Made with Australian almonds and imported spices and seeds. And there you go. So that's what I bought the other day. Let me give it a go. It's very um, orange. Now, just dip my little bread in the oil, which makes it a bit liquidy, and then a bit in the ducker. I would say that the flavours of the ducker are pretty subtle compared to the bread, which is quite <laughs> flavourful. So let me just try it with just that's a non-crusty bit. Hmm. Yeah, still pretty subtle, but nice. Like it's got nice kind of subtle spiciness to it. Not hot at all. But yeah. So I've got my snacks now, <laughs> so I'm good to, good to continue. Um, so I just finished Old Masters just before I made my um, snack and it, it went in a direction I was not anticipating. So at the beginning of the book, I'm going to try and do this with no spoilers in case you are currently reading it or want to read it in the future. Um, so at the beginning of the book, you meet a guy, I'm going to hopefully pronounce their names correctly, but I don't know for sure. So he's called Atzbaka. So he is like the narrator of this book. But realistically, this book is focused on another guy called Reger, R-E-G-E-R. And he is 
the old grumpy man that I mentioned before. Um, and he has asked his friend, Arts Barker, to meet him at the museum for an unknown reason. He hasn't told him what it is. He's sort of alluding to, you know, that he's going to ask him something. Um, so number one, this is a tiny bit spoilery, so you might want to skip ahead until I'm not holding this book up anymore, um, if you don't want spoilers. But you don't find out what that reason is till right at the end. <laughs> Most of the book is focused on um, the grumpy man, like being grumpy man is grumpy um, and has opinions about things, some of which are pretty odious. <laughs> Uh, most of which are just him being angry at the world. And you do find out that there is some reason behind him feeling angry at the world a bit later on. Like there's sort of a bit of context kind of comes into play. But um, then he also has some just really... Yeah, I mean, he's very much a very privileged white man. That is very clear in this book. He has come from money... He's married a woman who is, has also come from money um, and they've lived this very luxurious life, I would say, um, just in terms of not really needing much in the way of income. They've got like plenty of family wealth and investments and so on. Um, and some of his opinions, especially about the poor or pe people from the lower classes are a bit on the nose. And then also later in the book, he <laughs> talks about um, having a wife. So women in general, you, and, and it becomes clear that he doesn't really like women in general, but also um, what it means to be a wife and that naturally his wife has kind of like suppressed her own ideas and needs to accommodate his and that that is the correct way of things so that that was not ideal <laughs> um and i did have sort of moments of just like screwing up my face like Ugh, gross um but yeah and then when you find out the reason for him being asked because you're kind of like speculating you know on these kind of deep things, and this is 100% a spoiler, so I'll just let you know, <laughs> let you know that ahead of time. But the reason is not profound at all, <laughs> surprisingly non-profound. Um, and then the ending of the book kind of uh, is quite abrupt. So, yeah, it's um, it's an interesting book, very interesting. I don't know what I'm going to give it yet in terms of a star rating. Uh, I'll have to think about it, but it's going to be at least a three maybe a three and a half, maybe tending towards a four. I have to think about it some more, but yeah, that's where I'm at. I've just finished this one. So I am now able to enact, after I've had my, my snack, um, I will enact the plan um, for the next book. So we are either going to, I think what I'm going to do next is, as per the plan, is I'm going to have a look at this one. Abandon Every Hope, see how I feel about it, whether I can tolerate it or not, um, and then go from there. Hi guys, <laughs> just checking in. Um, I've just filmed a video. Um, I've had lunch. I've filmed a video, uh, which is a book haul from my uh, travels around <laughs> on this holiday. Um, so I thought... I need to start packing up these books shortly because I'm going home tomorrow. So I thought I'd better film that before I pack everything away. Um, so that was exciting. That's all done. There's a dog barking in the background. I don't think it's the dog that lives here. I think it's a dog in a neighboring area. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's. I'm just about to sit down and grab all of the footage off the camera. So I thought I'd just do a quick a quick to camera piece for you um, just to check in and to let you know the, ne the next plan so I still haven't picked up another book yet 
um, but what I'm going to do once I have grabbed all the footage and popped it onto my laptop because I'm running out of space on the camera now um, once I've done that I am going to sit down and have a look at Abandon Every Hope and see if it's something that I think I can manage. I also need to put the camera on charge because the battery is getting a bit low. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to do a bit of reading and I will check back in with you very soon. Hello. <laughs> Chickens are back out and about. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them. Bok, bok, bokking in the background. Uh, it's just about two o'clock. I attempted read the first little bit of Abandon Every Hope and I am now abandoning Abandon Every Hope. Um, so I'm, what, what did I get? 24 pages in. Um, so not too bad. The writing is good. Um, the writing is good. But this book is not for me. It's <laughs> Is that chicken laying an egg maybe anyway this book is not for me it's the descriptions are too graphic um, yeah it's just not for me it's not for me it's a bit gory it's not my thing um, so yeah we are going to DNF this one at page 24 um, but yeah as I said the writing is good so if you can stomach the graphic descriptions of animals being as part of the, the meat industry, abattoirs, etc. Then this may be for you, but um, it is. It is not for me. So we're going to move on and we're going to have a try of this one, next part of the plan. Um, so this is Praiseworthy by Alexis Wright. We're going to have another go at starting a book and see how we do. Hopefully this one will be more up, up my alley. <laughs> evening got a little bit derailed but I have done a little bit more reading to update you on before I head to bed because I've got a big day tomorrow because <laughs> I'm driving home so um, as I think I updated you in the last update I decided to DNF this one abandon every hope essays for the dead by Hayley Singer it's it is seems from what I've read I've read 24 pages that it's well written but it's not for me um, there's the descriptions in there are a little bit too vivid um, and too gory which is not my thing at all and I don't think I can deal, deal with this right now so I'm DNFing it um, but yeah if you feel like you uh, could cope with that sort of thing then this might be for you so the, the writing seems quite good poetic poetic um, then I, so the update now, I think I already told you that bit. So the update is I have now made a start on the other two books that I talked about. Um, so the first one that I started was Praiseworthy by Alexis Wright. I am now 20 pages in. The writing style in this one is really interesting and I don't know... Yeah, I don't know. I just I don't think I'm in the right headspace for it today. I needed a bit more brain. So this might be a good one. I might pick this up again tomorrow morning and see how I go when I'm a little bit fresher. Um, because, yeah, it was sort of, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to keep track of what's going on. There's characters and, and the, the, the way that it's written is um, unexpected. Like it's not sort of a typical way that books are written so and I've never read Alexis Wright before so but perhaps this is exactly what her other stuff is like as well but yeah for me this has been a bit of an odd start um and it seems to sort of be jumping around a little bit which is making it a bit hard to follow so I think as I said I'm going to try it with a fresher um fresher eyes in the morning if I've got time um and then we'll see We'll see how we do but yeah it was an interesting start I can already see there's like a bit of humor in here um, 
and that there's some like big brain ideas going to be discussed so i am looking forward to seeing if i can <laughs> if i can deal with this with a fresher brain but yeah i put it aside because i was struggling with it earlier this afternoon um and then i picked up hospital by sanya rushdie um this one is much more uh the writing is a lot simpler um so I definitely was able to deal with this more today with a, a brain that isn't quite as fresh as it was this morning. Um, so yeah, this one I think I will be able to read through pretty quickly. I got up to page 48 and then my reading got derailed for the evening. So I you know, made dinner. I had a couple of phone calls with my sister and my husband. Um, yeah, so that's okay. It's just, it is what it is. That's how the day has panned out. So, um, yeah, all, all in all, I think I've done pretty well today. So I finished a book, Old Masters. I started and DNF'd a book, Abandon Every Hope. And then I have started two more books, um, one of which I'm all getting close to halfway through. And the other, I still have a, a long way to go, but um, I think definitely can make a bit more progress on. And I think this is going to be one that I'm going to need to chip away at, um, reading a little bit every day while I've got something else on the go, because it just kind of feels like a book that I'm, if I immerse myself in it, this is all I'm going to read for several weeks and that's not how I like to do things. I like to have a few things on the go at once so that I can kind of go with my mood. But if I chip away at this then I'll be able to get through because it has, as I said before, quite a lot of pages. 723 pages so yeah just got to keep working at it. So yeah that's my that's my uh, vlog wrapping up for today because I need to stop and do a bit of packing now um, so that it's a bit less frantic in the morning um, and I hopefully can have a bit of time to read. I'm also <sighs> very tired. Um, it's been a long day so I need to get myself to bed. I'm going to drive for three hours tomorrow so yeah. But I am going to make a stop on the way so I might have um, I'm going to stop in at the uh, Salvos at Naura um, because it was closed on my way through on Sunday because it's not open on Sundays. So that's exciting. That'll be a little stopover um, about 45 minutes into the trip. So yeah, that'll be fun. Hopefully I will find some good little gems while I'm there. Um, but if not, that's okay. It's just nice to have a little stop and to have a little browse. Um, so anyway, that's, that's a tomorrow problem. That's not a today problem. So I will end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been an interesting vlog for you. Um, let me know down in the comments if you have read any of these, either of these two. Um, and if you, how you feel about the two of them. Am I going to get along with this? I, I still can't quite tell. Um, so I'm hoping that I will because I did pay the money to purchase this one. So I would like to read it. But I also know that if I... A 700, a 700 plus page book is quite the commitment. So I also need to know if it's worth my while. Anyway, let's wrap it up there. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you.